Hi Tooligans, welcome back to the channel. Um, hope you're enjoying the videos. I've done a couple of loadout videos yesterday uh, with a new Vito Tech XL high vis and the CP4 power bag. Today, a little bit different. I'm going to show you the mini fusion splicer we just bought. Um, it's not a tutorial, I'm just going to show you the basics on how it works, just in case anyone's interested. Um, just how you, you know, you get the fibres prepared, put the fibres together. I haven't done the course yet, but obviously being a bit of a child, I just want to have a go myself and check it out first. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel and hello and welcome to any of my new subscribers. Hope you're all doing well, guys. Well, do I'll bring you in closer and we will have a little look at this in action. Then, guys, this is the Fibre Fox Mini 6S Plus. So it comes in this hard case. You've got your splice machine there. You've got your cleaver here that prepares and cleaves the splices, gets a straight cut on them. The cleaning and the cleaving of the fibres is the most important thing. Got some wipes, got some strippers and then some outer strippers. So what I'm going to do, I'll move all this out the way, the box, and get everything prepared and then I'll bring you in a bit closer. So I've got the splicer set up on the box and I've got the cleaver set up on the box. Um, this is obviously your fiber. You strip your cable. This is 12 core, so you've got 12 individual fibers inside. What I'm gonna do, obviously for the purpose of the video, I'm just gonna pull one of these fibers out. So I'm only using a short strand of fiber. So I'll pull this one out just for the obviously like to say just for the video and you can see how thin they are and you attach them to these pigtails and then they go in the panels so this is OM4 12 core fiber we're using so first of all you're just going to strip it down so take the outer buffer off, that is really thin there, clean up them, and then the next one you want to be doing is just clearing off any of that outer there. And again, if you're doing this for real, you don't want to be touching what I just done, um, running your fingers over it. You're obviously trying to keep this as clean as possible. So I'm just going to do this a bit quicker. You should really be doing it in smaller stages than I just done it. And if you can see my finger, that is like the outer. Just grab a wipe. So we've got a alcohol wipe there. And you should be hearing that squeak, squeaky clean. On. And then this is the cleaver. So I'm just going to move that over there. Just going to get this set up in the cleaver now. And what you're trying to achieve is a real flush straight cut. So this will cleave that end. Nice and straight. I do a 
side on, you should be able to get a bit of a picture of what I'm doing. So you sit this in the fusion splicer and you want it around by the electrodes and that is what's going to be fusing together um, your fibres. Trying to get it lined up. Not you don't want it too close, you don't want it touching. You just want it close enough, and then you get one of your patch leads, one of the pigtails, carry up the same procedure on that, clear off the buffer, and you can just see how thin that is. Take the outer off, being careful not to break the fibre. I've had too much coffee, I got the jitters today. And then clean any of the outer buffer off. And then you're getting that squeaky clean. So a bit darker as a background. Oh yeah. That's a bit of a better picture. So you can see like three colours. You can see the fibre, the outer, and then that like the obviously the fibre plastic outer. So again, same procedure. I'm gonna lay this down now in the cleaver and cleave the end. Do this off camera a bit easier. Well, not too happy with that one, so what I'm going to do. It's easier just to keep redoing it until you are happy. So I've cleaned back the outer jacket on it now. And just go again. I know there's probably going to be loads of viewers on here that are going to pick me up for certain things. Chill out, guys. I'm just uh, showing the basics. I'm not in any means saying that this is how you carry it out. I'm just having to go with a fusion splicer and I've just cleaned that end a bit better. Pop it in, close it up. And what I'll do so you can see that there. Close the lid, then it's telling me right fibre place error. So again, lift the lid, move it in, Now the machine is looking at it. So that's fused it now. That's completed. It does a little tug test on it itself. Data's been saved. So what I'll do, I'll bring it in a bit closer. You can see there, there's zero loss. And then obviously if you're doing this out in the field you've got one of these protective sleeves so this is obviously one of the first things you do because you obviously can't go back to the fiber 
and try and reinsert this because it won't go over the um, connecting end. So then lift it up. That's all done nice in there. Slide your shrink tube over, being careful not to break the splice. So that's in the little cooker now. Hit cook. The timer goes on for 10 seconds then. You see the little red light indicates it. And then done. Then you've got your spliced end there with your sleeve. And that is basically it guys. Yes, I've probably done a couple of things a bit wrong, but this is only just showing you the fusion splicer. Um, yes, I am doing a course soon, end of April. So this was just a little bit of a show round the fusion splicer. If you did enjoy the video guys, please subscribe to the channel. I do a lot of other tour reviews and hope you have a good day.